Welcome back everybody. What we are going to do next is, I said we were gonna set up an IM roll. Uh, a yam roll. A yam roll, I am. Yam. I am. I am yam. I am yam. Uh, we were gonna set up a, an I am user. However, uh, after thinking about that, I realized we are gonna need that, but we don't need that until we actually start coding in .NET. So we're gonna skip yeah. that part and go straight into Athena. The Athena. Uh, I think more God of War every time I hear Athena, and I just hear Kratos going, Athena! I never, I, I played some God of War, but I never, no, not too much. Really? Not uh, much? It was played, fantastic. No, I know, but I was very young. My mum wouldn't let me buy it. It's like M. But now you're old enough, you yeah. can create your own I can, destiny. I can do what I want. Uh, okay, cool. So let's go into services and find Athena. Query data in S3 using SQL. <gasps> My favorite language. I um, love squirrel. <laughs> make sure that you are, you can be in any region in Athena and talk to an S3 bucket in any region. Mm. But it does mean that it has to copy that data from the S3 in the uh, the oh. S3 region to the Athena region and then run the query. So it would take a while. It can take a while. Uh, so make sure that you are running Athena in the same region as yep. your S3 bucket. True. So we're going to switch back over to Oregon, and in case you didn't notice, this only just came out this week. Sydney for Athena! Oh, I didn't know that. I've been waiting for that one for probably six months now. <laughs> Alright, cool. So here we are. Welcome to Athena. Uh, we need to create a database, and we need to add a table. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. So let's go to tables. Uh, over on the left hand side, the query editor, the database we've got. No, no, let's just go straight to add table. You go, but that's going to add a table to the sample DB. You go, not so fast. When you click add table, it'll go, what do you want to do? Create a new database. And we'll call it 3D Buzz Analytics. Athena. Oh, okay. Okay, analytics. Game analytics. We're going to take note of this into our notepad. Get rid of all this stuff. Athena database. Our first table name is going to be player path by clicks. By clicks. And now I love that this is just one of those quirks of uh, of AWS. Mm -hmm. The location of the input data set. It's S3 US dash eat dash one dot the folder name dot no, that's not Elastic at all. map reduce. That is a very, uh, that is their own version of Spark. Oh. You can run Spark on AWS. Oh, really? Yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, so you could read directly from your EMR cluster, uh, Elastic Map Reduce cluster, or you can go straight to S3. Uh, I like that it says the input of the S3 is actually this, saying that it's S3. It is, but really, you don't really want to do that. If you come here and go, awesome, this one, like where you're actually reading it from, this mm. is our S3 bucket. Mm. So we go S3, comma, comma, or slash, slash, park A, slash. Now, which one are we going to do? We're going to be working on path by clicks. So path, path by clicks. It's interesting. This folder is case sensitive. Mm. Uh, our stuff is not encrypted, but if yours is, then just tick that. Mm. You'll notice that it says external. Uh, so it says, cool, I am Athena, I am Presto, I am a database engine, but my data is external to myself. So it's automatically ticked. Why would you even show it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it's best just not to ask questions. Uh, not a valid oh, oh, slash yeah. on the end. So if you had loads of data and it was taking longer to query it, then you could, instead of doing uh, repartition and one, you could say repartition by a particular column. Maybe it's by date that it happened, or maybe you would repartition by level name. So then it would make a subfolder for level one, a subfolder for level two, a subfolder oh, really? for level three. So we're going to leave it as one. Oh, I should know that. Oh, that's cool. It is really handy and speeds things up. But our data is not big. Ours is very tiny. So we're going to continue going with that. Mm -hmm. um, so if you did have a, <clears throat> a partition, uh, then you would go ahead and put it into here. So we'll go next. It says, how is your data stored? Ours is Parquet. So note that it says JSON here. So we could read directly from our raw JSON that we capture. Mm. But That's we're not going to do that. We're going, it is slower and it costs a bit more. We'll come into costs pretty soon. Let's go pick Parquet, say next. And it says, what are the columns that we've got? 
Now this oh, is a bit of a pain. That's we annoying. have to do it one at a time. That's really weird considering Parquet has its own column storage format. It can't just like read. You think we'll just columns. go and read from it and pick it up? Yeah. Yeah, that would be nice. Uh, we can go add a column and then level version is a type string. Where's string? But then they got this bulk add columns. Let's take advantage of that. So oh, let's that's just good. take these. So I'm going to take all of the columns that we have. Put the, ah, okay, don't press enter. It doesn't like you pressing enter. Uh, so our column is shift, called level shift name. Enter. Do it. And called string. No, it didn't. Really? It bypassed it. Now they're all on one line. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, my God. What are you supposed to do? <laughs> level version as string. Uh, attributes.px as click position x, which is now a string. Uh, yes. This is confusing me with the way it's listing everything out we there. Just do it in notepad. I was going to do this. Oh, that works. Level name as string. Now I'm going to make everything a string. No, I'm not going to make everything a string. As string. Client yeah, float. ID is going to be a string. Uh, the click position X is going to be a float. Mm -hmm. Float. As float. I don't know why I'm putting as. I didn't oh. mean to put as. Sorry. Oh. Uh, so. You're in, you're in squirrel <laughs> mode. <laughs> yes. Column name type. Column name type. Column name type. <clears throat> float. Flip position Y is a float. Slow to, slow slow and float. Slow and flow at. Slow and flow at. I'm doing great on the typing thing here today. <laughs> Click position Z as float. And finally, clicks as float. Now, I'm going to make this a float not an int for simplicity's sake. Right. Athena has its quirks. Okay. <laughs> Let's go add. And now look at that. You go, wow, that didn't help me. It made a string, it made a string, it made a string, it made a float, it made a float, it made a hey, what? It didn't make this a float. And then clicks, it didn't make it a float. <laughs> so <laughs> the other thing is that you'll notice here it's made everything lowercase. Everything lowercase. Oh. We've been saving our stuff here with capital letters. Oh, Athena no. does not like capital letters. <laughs> <laughs> it's got all kinds of quirks, but you'll see when it works, when it's up and running, you'll go, wow, that is super cool, and I want to use Athena for everything. I think I remember you a few months ago, you being like, oh man, Athena looks so cool, and then you're like, and man, then I hate Athena so much, so it's so dumb, and then, and then you're like, Athena's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was me. Level version, <laughs> client ID, click position x so i'm just going to go and we're going to go and uh make this one work first which is the click this <laughs> uh the player path by clicks making everything lowercase and now look how we rewrite the parquet oh so hard just run itself nothing else we have to do so now we come back into athena and it says hey what partitions do you have now if you have partitions on your data you could say oh yeah i partitioned this on date captured oh really uh or i had it partitioned on level name which would then have to be lowercase so what that That's would do handy dandy. it is inside of here you might actually have when it says partitioned it actually makes a subfolder with only that data That's in it. smart enough to pick that up. Yeah. So it is an instance. So pretty cool. Still. So I don't need any partitions for our one. For the sake of simplicity, we are just going to go straight to create table. And then it gives you the query to actually create that table. And then it goes ahead and runs it for you. So great. So it gives you the code and then goes ahead and creates a table for you, which is quite handy. Uh, so now we can go, look at this syntax, create external table. So if you've used SQL before, then you'll feel right at home here. It's just that it's saying external because the data is stored outside of itself. Uh, oh. So database name dot table name, columns and types. Squirrel. 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 I, uh, SQL, man. SQL. Ah, you found my underscore fault with you. <laughs> He's going to use it on me every second. Uh, this is all the important stuff that it says this is how it should be parquet and interpreted. Uh, and one of the important ones here is the location, which is this is where you can go ahead and find the data. 
Mm. So I'm going to cut this uh, and then paste it and then make sure that I can actually query this stuff. So select star from 3D Buzz Game Analytics and invalid exception, what's your problem? Can't query it? I'm sure you can. Okay. Invalid request uh... exception. Oh, hang on, yes, because it made the table also lowercase. <laughs> Bye. Wow. Fix. No, that's not it. Mm. Hmm. Could it be because you've got three D but oh it's the three. The three it doesn't like look at the syntax highlighting. Where? The three is lighter than the D. Ah oh, okay, cool. Let's do this then. Can we escape it? So let's put cut this create database game analytics. Mm. Cool. Arr, Athena, your harsh mistress. Great, so now that we're on game analytics, let's okay, switch okay. our thing to game analytics. Ooh. And now let's try and query this. <laughs> It was the three in the database name. Oh, Bad no. data. Bad data. Okay, so what's it whinging here? It's saying that, hang on. A double. You told me that it was a float, but it's not a float. Uh, so you have to have everything perfect for Athena. Otherwise, it will just yell at you and say, I have no idea what you're trying to do. Oh, my God. But we have everything stored back in here as strings. Because when we saved it in as JSON, everything's a string. Oh. <gasps> so let's pause this video here because it's getting a bit long in the tooth. Let's finish this creation off in the next one. Yep. As soon as we get this this one working, we can just copy paste the code for all of them and everything cool. will be happy. All right. So let's finish this one and we'll see you all in the next video. See ya.